Okay, Star Wars fans, so I'm sitting here with one of the another main event top fours. I'm Sir Tom Kelly. Hi. Tom, thank you. Uh, so, how's it going to be to top four? Oh, it feels alright. Um, I was the one seed, so it's kind of like you need to live up to expectations mm -hmm. making the top four. And I feel like I played pretty well all day, so I'm happy with it. So what did you play today? I played Rops and EBO. Okay. I was pretty set on those for like the past month or so. It, a lot of, I know, you're a player who you don't care that you can telegraph what you play. But you just go in there, you play decks as you know, yeah. and you know them well. To a certain extent, yeah. Um, Rops, I figured everyone was going to have me on Rops, and I talked to my opponents, and they thought so too. But I didn't share my particular build of Rops until this event, okay. so I figured that was the amount of surprise that I could come up with. And, um, but the, the EBO, I feel like I needed to have that a little bit under wraps as to like some uncertainty as to what the light side is. Because EBO actually does have a default match with map. Yes. And I ran, I luckily avoided rap map until the last match where I played against the Hawks. So. And then uh, what happened in the, uh, the second match against the Because I know the first match you ended up losing the Hawks. Yeah. Lost by 13? So I lost, yeah, I lost with the EBO to map by 13. And okay. Kayla, I think. I played pretty well looking back on it. I mean, obviously the problem with mistakes is that you don't realize you're making them a lot of times, so there were probably inefficiencies that I wasn't aware of. But I feel like I played pretty well to get as close as it was, and it's just it's just a really difficult matchup because they get really quick damage on the ground that you can't really interact with. Even finalizer is difficult. Like a lot of times, EBO can outpower like the executor, but for some reason, finalizers. More difficult, I guess, probably because of how fast it is. Mm -hmm. I actually have no idea, but um, it just never was in the cards, so I was just always kind of like avoiding it during some drinks. And he never found strategic reserves, um, so I think if he found strategic reserves, that could have changed the match. I think he got a little bit unlucky there, although. He used Hux on a trooper, I think he needed the tempo and stuff, yeah, so it was like a mix of things. But then I came back and I had Robs versus Diplo. Mm -hmm. And I've always found that to be a pretty good matchup for Robs because they just kill everything in space and okay. Diplo can't do much when it doesn't have the ground. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened in the moment. Okay. So, any other thoughts on tomorrow? Tomorrow you have uh, <laughs> actually. As if I would answer that question. <laughs> yeah. I don't know who I'm playing that. Well, I know it's either going to be Brian Fred or Salucci, and I know Fred won game one. Okay. By, I don't know the exact number, but it looked like he was in the teens. Okay, I've played both of those guys many times in the past. Mm -hmm. We'll have to figure out what to do about that tonight. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You too.